average altitude in the Karakoram area is 6,000 meters. The geology of the area is very complex and geologically active. The road construction crew will face both unprecedented engineering challenges and difficult natural conditions. The Chinese engineers have accumulated nearly half a century of knowledge and experience and are ready to build one of the world's highest roads under these extreme conditions. One day in late December 2009, Ye Chung Yin is riding in an SUV speeding down a mountain road in northern Pakistan. As project manager for the Karakoram Highway Project, he has rarely felt this relaxed since arriving in Pakistan three years ago. Cheng Yin and his team of workers, 2,700 strong, began rebuilding the Karakoram Highway in 2008. They faced the same problems the previous workers encountered, bad weather and mudslides. And yet, by the end of 2009, they completed almost a third of the road with the use of advanced equipment and state-of-the-art technology. Just as Ye was beginning to believe that the project could be completed ahead of schedule, a mysterious cloud appeared outside the office window at the base camp in Gumit. The dust was coming from somewhere below the base camp on the middle reaches of the Hunza River. Meanwhile, Wang Wei Go, in charge of Section B, also noticed something abnormal in the sky. This was shot by Wang Wei Guo's crew at the site. The collapse of the side of a slope was generating the dust. This was the worst such collapse in Hunza in many years. The collapse was in the small village of Atabad in Hunza. This happens to be in middle of the Karakoram Highway Project and a vital transportation link. Cheng Yin went to inspect the damage done to the highway as soon as the site was safe. The collapse can be recreated through 3D technology. The entire peak on the north bank of the Hunza River collapsed. When the falling debris hit the water, it threw mud against the opposite bank of the river, destroying over two kilometers of newly built foundation. To make matters worse, about 10 days later, a lake began forming above the barrier dam on the Hunza River. The recently built road foundations and bridge piers of the Shushgat Bridge began disappearing under the lake, and the base camp became an isolated island, forcing everyone to... Four months later, the lake was 107 meters deep and 25 kilometers long and covered 20 kilometers of the highway. The lake had about four times the volume of West Lake and completely cut Karakoram Highway in two. But worse was to come.
Temperatures begin rising in Hunza in May, melting the ice on the mountain and swelling the lake. The water would soon spill over the barrier dam. If the dam were to burst from the pressure, everything in the water's path below would be wiped out. Ya Ching Yin immediately called a meeting of all the project officials to come up with an emergency plan. Experts estimated that if 50% of the water in the lake were to be released, a 20-meter wave would hit the camp of Section B. It would only take 15 minutes to travel the 70-kilometer distance. If all the water were to be released at once, the temporary bridge on Section A in Gilgit would be destroyed within 60 minutes. Many of camps of the sections A and B are located near water. A flood would be disastrous for both equipment and personnel. To ensure the safety of the crew and local Pakistanis, Ya Cheng Yin ordered the water level of the Hunza River to be monitored 24 hours a day. Meanwhile, he called it an exercise the risk in the event of the dam collapsing. The person he invited is Chen Xiaoqing, researcher at the Institute of Mountain Hazards and Environment in Chengdu. Chen is a geology professor who knows a lot about the effects of earthquakes and landslides. He found that the dam was composed of fine silt and large rocks. More than 30% of the rocks were over 5 meters in diameter. The lake began spilling over the top of the dam on May 30, and Chen's estimate was proved correct. Everyone was relieved, but it wasn't all good news. It has been four years since the launching of the Karakoram Highway project. The crew had already dealt with floods, mudslides, and avalanches. Now they had the unprecedented task of finding an alternate route. The Pakistani government sent an Army Corps of Engineers to drain the lake so that work could resume on the submerged section of the road. Route manager Wang Wei Guo came to the site every month to monitor the progress. At this rate, it would take another 16 years to recover the most deeply submerged sections. But even when the water level goes down, this section of the road can still not be salvaged from the mudslide. Zhu Yi, head of the project's design team, returned to Pakistan in December 2012 to inspect the lake and approve the plan for a new route.
After more than a year surveying the site, Zhu Yi had a comprehensive picture of the area around the lake, but he was still not sure about the best way to revise the route. Yes,红里边下面的水也被多了,把整个的空气炸了。在我上期这边的自然普渡上,基本上达到了七十岁以上,也就是说基本上到了绝壁上,就是漏修通的上面的这个不清的往下掉石头,高位崩塌是相当严
Pulling itself up by its arms, the excavator finally makes it up the slope. The arrival of the equipment and materials mark the true start of this phase of the project. Tang Yo Bin is the team leader of this detonation team. Today, the team is setting off the first large explosion for the exit of tunnel number one. In spite of his years of experience, Tong was surprised when he arrived at the site. The shock of an explosion could cause the collapse of these unstable mountains, so Tong carefully studies in the area. Tang Yo Bin carefully designed the distribution and depth of the holes to keep impact on the mountain to a minimum. The main force of the explosions will be outward, making rocks fly like bullets as far as 1,000 meters. Tang Yo Bin will press the detonator from a safe spot, but the rest of the crew will leave the mountain ahead of time. As the detonation work continues, it's to worry about the structure of the rocks themselves. Building safe tunnels while ensuring worker safety requires that steps be taken to fortify the structure of the mountain. Steel pipes with many small holes in them are inserted into the mountain above the tunnels about every 50 centimeters. Cement slurry is then injected into the pipe, which then escapes through the holes and fills the gaps between rocks, helping to strengthen the mountain. After 20 meters, smaller pipes are used and the angle is adjusted for the slope of the mountain. Almost all the other tunnels will be handled in a similar manner. These pipes will ensure the safety of tunnels running through the unstable mountain. Arham, whose home is in the capital Islamabad, is driving his truck from the port of Sost at the Pakistani border. He's been driving on the Karakoram Highway for over 30 years. Arham used to make three round trips on the Karakoram Highway every month. He set out from the port of Sost and crossed the northern mountainous areas to reach the southern port city of Karachi. The pay of 300,000 rupees a month tempted him to leave his hometown to spend most of the time on the road. But the destruction of the road by the lake dramatically reduced the incomes of truck drivers like him. Many changed occupations, but Arkham was confident in the future.
इंजीनियर तो आज का इंजीनियर तो कल के इंजीनियर से बहुत बेहतर है ना क्योंकि तालीम के मैदान में तो अभी बहुत ज्यादा तरक्की हो गई है कल का इंजीनियर और था आज का इंजीनियर जो है वो और है अभी तो खिला में और मरीख के करीब पहुंच रहे हैं वो तो चलो सिक्सटी में चांद पर पहुंच गए थे वो तो नजदीक है ना तीन लाख चालीस हजार किलोमीटर है Repairing the Karakoram Highway will reopen the trade corridor between China and Pakistan. The bilateral trade creates development opportunities for the isolated mountain residents, promotes Pakistan's economic development, and enhances trade between the western region of China and West Asia. As of 2013, all sections of the project have been completed except for the alternate route around the lake. Which is scheduled for completion in July 2014. The plan for Phase Two of the alternate route is now undergoing final revision. When this section is completed, the entire Karakoram Highway will once again be open for traffic. The designers, project managers, technical personnel, and ordinary workers on the Karakoram Highway project have been hard at work widening and repairing the road since 2006. The project is a testimony of the determination and wisdom of thousands of Chinese road builders over a span of nearly 50 years. The Karakoram Highway owns a rich history. It will once again wind through the mountains and deep valleys of the Pamir Plateau to bring fresh opportunities and hope for people cut off from the world by the mountains. <laughs>